I'm Dana and I'm a reseller on Poshmark and today is a from sold to ship video um, and it starts from Monday through Sunday which is February 28th through March 6th and I'll start by sharing my sales from uh, Monday through Thursday on my laptop. Okay, so the first item that sold was this Lafayette 148 cashmere cow neck um, sweater. And it, I probably had it for about six months or so. Um, I listed it for $70 and it did sell for $59, $59. And, um, you know, after fees, uh, shipping and costs of goods, my final earnings were $43.98. And my cost of goods is $1.50 um, because I got this uh, sweater over at the Goodwill bins and they charge by the item um, rather than the pound. Okay, and this next item is um, this North Face uh, hoodie. And um, the list price was $30 and I got an offer for $15. And so I went ahead and accepted. So after fees and cost of goods, I made $10.50. Uh, next is this pair of uh, Lululemon uh, leggings. They were listed at $40 and um, I sold them for $34. So after um, you know, all the fees and cost of goods, I made $25.70. I wasn't sure how these were going to do because they are low rise, um, but I had them listed probably only for a couple of weeks and they sold. So this uh, Maeve peasant blouse um, sold pretty quickly, I would say in a few days, and I had listed it for $35 and it sold for $29. And after um, fees and cost of goods, I made $21.60. Okay, so I thought I'd share, um, I also have a little Etsy shop and um, I thought I'd share my sales um, on Etsy as well. And I did sell this abstract um, modern art leggings. So this is something that I designed and um, it's sort of, um, print on demand. So I designed um, the, the art for it. And then you can put it onto, you know, different things like leggings or uh, t-shirts, uh, face masks, tank tops. Um, and, you know, when somebody places an order, it goes over to the vendor. The vendor um, goes ahead and manufactures this one item for the, the customer and then they ship it over directly to the customer. So that's what happened with these leggings. Um, and so I had them listed for $42 and um, my costs were $26.44. And so my earnings on this was $15.56. Okay, so here are a, a pair of uh, True Religion. Um, and they were men's jeans. Um, and I listed these and that very day they sold. I actually uh, listed it for $50 and uh, I got an offer you know, right away for 35. And so I felt like that was fair. So I went ahead and accepted that. And so my earnings were 26.50 and um, yeah, so I was I was very happy that they they sold right away. I had heard mixed things about True Religion. Um, I had heard that you know they were popular, and that's something that you know my teenage daughter said that True Religion was very popular. Um, and um, but then yet I think on YouTube I also heard that oh you know it's it's over for True Religion. So I heard mi mixed things, but so I was really happy that they sold quickly. And um, actually, also, um, one of the viewers, Maria Felicity, mentioned that at her um, thrift stores, they price true religion really high. I think she was saying maybe between somewhere between 40 to, to 60 or 40 to 80 dollars, I think. Um, so, yeah, so I would say that they're pretty popular. And, you know, I'm definitely on the lookout for anything true religion at this point. 
Okay, and then um, here's this really cute little uh, Liz Claiborne uh, teal green uh, crossbody purse. And it was just a really nice size. And the color was is very pretty and it's really different. Um, so I had it listed for $25 and I got an offer for 21. And so I went ahead and accepted. So I made $15 and 30 cents. So this Adidas jacket, um, I, I like this jacket a, a lot. I just thought it was really um, a, a good looking jacket. It was uh, reversible. So you can see the gray on this side um, with the big logo. So um, it just felt like a really um, nice substantial jacket. Okay, here it is in sort of the reverse colorway. Um, and so I received, let's see, did I receive an offer? I think I received an offer on this for 30. I had originally listed it for $50. And so $30 was um, totally fair to me. And I think I've explained this in other um, videos, but my sort of latest strategy is to accept offers that are at least 50 percent or higher of, of my asking price. Um, so I accepted this offer and um, I made 2250 on it. So it was a good sale in my opinion. Okay, and then um, the day that I found the other true religion pants, I also found these uh, true religion jeans. And um, let's see, they, I actually, listed this one for $40. Again, I listed this like the next day and um, it sold that same day as well. So this one, um, it was listed for 40 and I got an offer for 30. So I did accept it. And so I finally made $24, but really happy that, you know, it sold. So I felt like it was a really good pickup. Okay, so the next items are from uh, Friday through Sunday. Okay, so here are a pair of REI um, convertible hiking pants that sold, and these are in a gray color with a elastic at the waist. And you know, these are great because you can um, zip them at the leg part and you can have them be um, cargo shorts. So, really great for hiking and camping and being outdoors. Um, this sold, so I listed them at $40 and they sold for $20. So, um, I finally made $14.50. But hiking pants have been selling really well for me. And I think it's because, you know, uh, hiking season is, is coming upon us very soon. I guess mid-March is when it's officially spring. And um, hiking and camping just around the corner. I also, you know, um, just wanted to mention that I'm a pretty new uh, reseller. I, I haven't been reselling for a year yet. And, um, you know, I did learn how to um, ship by watching um, Mackenzie's videos. Um, and she's Mc, McThriftsy. And I will link one of her videos below. But, um, yeah, when I was new, I didn't know how to ship or anything and um, you know she has a lot of great knowledge um, that she shares on her videos and um, you know one of the things that she likes to do is she uses um, this packing paper that you can even pick up at Home Depot or you know on Amazon and um, she also uses uh, 
the, the post office um, supplies and you know you can order these on the USPS website so I really appreciate this because it's um, really clean way to package things and um, also it's inexpensive you know that way you can save some money um, while shipping so I really learned a lot from Mackenzie um, and you know I also want to just give a shout out to um, you know all the the viewers that have um, written comments and things and um, thank you so much for you know your comments and and you know for subscribing and liking I really do appreciate that and um, I want to give a shout out to viewers who who made comments and hopefully I don't miss anyone <laughs> that's one of my fears for you know actually doing this is that I'm gonna miss somebody and and you know I, I don't intend to do that at all but um, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Leticia who did give me a really really nice comment um, and I forgot to mention it in the last video so thank you Leticia um, she had mentioned that she also really enjoys Mackenzie um, her videos as well and she learns a lot from hers her too so um, I just wanted to mention that and really appreciate appreciate you um, and, and there's also um, shout out to Darlene and Amber uh, Maria Felicity and Seiko as well as Sabrina so thanks so much for your comments and thanks for everyone who subscribes you know it's it's really really nice to to get that support and um, would you know just really love to hear from you guys too as well let's see the next thing is next are these Levi's jeans and these are the 514s um, in a black wash and let's see I um, listed them for $30 and they did sell for $20 so after you know cost of goods and uh, fees I made $14.50 So I do like selling Levi's um, and Levi's are pretty plentiful at the bins. So, you know, happy to pick them up. I also wanted to um, mention that Darlene had made a, a comment about that, you know, she, she actually does like the sound of the crinkling paper because <laughs> I was very nervous that the crinkling was too loud and too um, annoying. But, um, so that was really, that was really a relief to hear. <laughs> So also for anyone you know new um, to watching this sold to ship videos I um, I like to add uh, this piece of uh, hemp twine to the package and because what I like to do is I like to write a little thank you note on this heart tag so it's just a way of securing the, uh, the note. And I think it just gives a little personal touch, which, you know, I appreciate the buyers purchasing from me. So it's just kind of nice to, to show it a little bit. Another item that sold were, was this Eileen Fisher 
it's almost like a little uh, wool ba base layer um, top and it's in this really deep purple um, very thin lightweight but because of the wool I'm sure it's you know a, a, a nice layer of warmth and so um, this was listed for thirty dollars and I sold it for twenty five so um, I finally earned sixteen dollars and seventy eight cents see So yeah, I picked these up at the bins and I really like to sell Eileen Fisher. Um, it, I, you know, Eileen Fisher does seem to have a, a nice following and I think mainly because, you know, she uses, or the brand uses such good materials. So. The quality is really there. Um, the retail price on Eileen Fisher is quite high as well. Um, but I don't, you know, not, I sold it for 25, which I'm, you know, which is great for me. But um, I think, you know, the, the resale is not as high as like the retail. But on the other hand, I feel like it's really solid um, sort of bread and butter brand. So whenever I see Eileen Fisher um, bins, and also um, oftentimes at the Goodwill stores, I will pick it up, you know, if it's in good con condition. Um, and that's the thing is I really have to um, be mindful of the condition. I can be blinded by the brand and, you know, see something like, oh, it's Eileen Fisher. I really want to pick it up because, you know, it's, it's a great brand, even if there's flaws and things. But I'm trying to be a little bit better about, you know, throwing it back or, you know, or not picking it up if it does have flaws. Um, and I have to say, that that's the whole thing too is a lot of times you know if I'm out sourcing I will like certain brands like Eileen Fisher um, Free People Madewell I won't really check comps you know I just sort of look at the um, the item and if I feel like it's you know, one, in great condition, um, two, the style is um, desirable or, you know, it's um, trending, then, um, you know, I will go ahead and just pick it up because I kind of know. Um, and especially if that's, you know, at, at the bins, um, when I'm paying $1.50 per item, I'm not really as worried about it. Um, let's see. So the next piece is this Free People sweater. And super cute. I love these sleeves. And it's sort of like this, I don't know, this oversized uh, ivory colored uh, cotton sweater. Um, but it is pretty heavy, so it's substantial. Um, but then because it's cotton, I think it can transition into the um, spring months nicely. So this one, uh, I listed it for $30 and I had it for quite a while. I would say, you know, like five months, maybe even six months or so. And it did finally sell for $25, um, which I was really happy about yeah about that and so I finally made um, $18.50 
I've only recently gone back to the bins um, after taking almost a month off. It was basically um, three weeks in February. And I really, you know, wanted to get my listing done and some repairs done, as well as to kind of take care of some bookkeeping and, and things like that. So, um, so yeah. So I had it in sourcing for a while. Um, and I went back and I've gone, for the month of March, I've already gone back, I think, three times. So it feels good to be back. <laughs> and I am really challenging myself to be more selective um, with my um, sourcing and I think um, I but you know at first I was like oh well, I want to you know s source um, something where I think it's going to make thirty dollars or more and I realized you know for me um, I do I didn't really necessarily you know think that was the best strategy for now. Um, I still like to carry some items that are, you know, will sell for less than $30. Um, and I think it adds variety, you know, of um, different costs of goods in my store so that it might bring in uh, more customers or, you know, more people looking for things. So also, it does increase the chances for bundling sales, <laughs> although I haven't really gotten a lot of bundles, um, you know. But that's something that you know I would like like to have is, is more bundle sales. How about you guys? Do you guys do a lot of bundles? Um, would love to know, you know. Um, if you guys watched Mackenzie, um, I think I put in a comment one time that she was the queen of bundles. <laughs> I was just so impressed with how many, um, you know, bundle sales she does. And I'm gonna. Oh, so here's some more things that you can get at um, USPS uh, website. Um, you can order these stickers, and. They're a nice way to sort of um, secure openings and things. And you know, again, it's free, so um, it's great to have. Okay. Yeah, I would love to hear if you guys um, do a lot of bundle sales. That would be awesome. Um, so, Let's see. Next are um, these earrings that my daughter Kelsey made, and I'm just gonna hold that up and see. And also, I'll have I'll put it up on one of these sides. But these are just these really pretty um, polymer clay earrings, and she um, likes to make earrings as a hobby. So. Um, you know, I've been saying, well, why don't we try posting them, you know, on um, Poshmark, and then I have my Etsy shop as well as Depop, and just see, you know, if if they will sell. And so, so yeah, so these sold for twelve, no, sorry, ten dollars. They're listed for twelve dollars, and so after cost of goods and also um, the shipment uh, shipping discount we ended up making three dollars and 83 cents so <laughs> but that's okay you know part of it is it it's fun it's a fun thing to do it also you know is a way of moving her her items um so yeah it's nice so as far as like how to um, ship 
these little little items um you know there's various different ways to do it but in this case we had this little tin box um so it would really protect the jewelry so i'm just going to go ahead and put it in the padded padded envelope it has the bubble bubble pads on the inside um, I could have put it into a small flat rate box as well, um, but I didn't need to because it, it's in the tin. No. Okay, so here is um, this Garnet Hill linen, 100% linen, long tunic shirt. And it's in this really pretty heathered gray. Um, and I picked up, you know, a, I don't know, along, you know, the my many trips to the Goodwill bins, I would pick up uh, l linen pieces, like even, you know, during the fall and, and uh, winter. And I just kind of stored them in my closet in the you know I'd wash them and I'd store them in the closet and so uh, in, during my last fix it video I went through and I ironed all my linen shirts okay sorry my phone was gonna die so I had to um, you know charge it so anyways where was I so um, I think I was talking about the linen shirts and so the two shirts that have sold quickly are the Garnet Hill um, linen shirts. So um, that's kind of good information for me, just to know that, you know, people seem to like or follow Garnet Hill. And that's not something, that's not a brand that I pick up at all. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on the lookout and, you know, consider Garnet Hill pieces when I see them. There. So let's see, and I'm not sure if I mentioned um, this, but uh, I listed this shirt for $30. It sold for $25 and uh, cost of goods, uh, after all my fees and cost of goods, it was, I got sixteen seventy eight, and I think I did mention this, so I might be repeating myself. Okay. So have you guys been Focusing in on um, your spring items, or are you still like um, selling a lot of winter items? I, you know, I guess there's certain parts of the country where, you know, it's it's not that cold. You know, I can think of, you know, Southern California and. I mean, even in a sense, Northern California is not that cold. Oh. oh no. Oh, I just realized. Shoot, I forgot to put this on her thing. Oh well, let me figure that out. Okay. Yeah, so other parts of the country. I mean, there's also Hawaii and Florida. There warm weather areas as well. So, you see that. And, you know, here's a little, here's a little dress that um, I could say that is for warmer weather. It's a um, band of gypsies little mini dress. It's really cute. Um, it's uh, new with tags. And I'm just curious what size this is. This is a size large. And I picked this dress up quite a while ago. I want to say like, I probably picked this up 
in fall in the fall and you know hoping that it would sell in the fall but it really um, sat for quite a while and um, I had listed it for $35 and it sold for $29 um, and so I finally earned uh, $19.98 so really happy that it sold and let's see actually we can see where it's going to it's actually going to someone in New Jersey so you know I would think that New Jersey would be on the cooler side but maybe not <laughs> or maybe it's in anticipation for spring but also you know with these um, cute little dresses you can totally you know wear either a t-shirt underneath you can wear some um, stockings or whatnot or just some you know boots or booties and then you know a big sort of chunky sweater cardigan would be really cute so all different kinds of ways you can actually wear a dress like this so. um, okay so the next item is these uh, rag and bone jeans and they are straight leg and um, they were who were they I don't know if they had a certain name or some. Oh yeah, here it is. They did have a name. Um, it's the Rosa Mid-Rise Boyfriend. Um, I have not picked up Rag and Bone jeans before, and I know that they're a really expensive brand, but I've heard that the uh, resale price has gone down. So, was a little bit nervous about picking these up, um, and I did get these at the Goodwill stores. They um, came out on a new rack, rolled out in a new rack, and I, you can just see the, uh, the patch is in really good condition. I thought I would pick these up because um, they were really good size, I think they were 31, and they look like they're in really kind of new condition. So, um, and then when I did look up comps for these jeans, they did have, uh, they looked like they were selling for a good price. So, went ahead and picked them up and I thought, if I can't sell them, or if they sit for me, then maybe I could um, send them to the real real. But, they sold, I think after I listed it, maybe in one or two days. So they sold really quickly. Um, let's see, what did they sell for? So I listed them for $75 and I got an offer for $60, um, which I happily accepted. And then, you know, after fees and cost of goods, I made um, $39. So my cost of goods on this was $9 because I picked them up at the Goodwill stores. But um, still, $39, I think, is a pretty good sale. So. I don't know. It's, you know, sometimes... Sometimes it feels like it's kind of a guessing game on like what is going to sell. Um, you know, I can look at the comps and, you know, one thing is I do check comps on Poshmark primarily and then, you know, I'll check it on some other um, platforms once in a while, but I do really check Poshmark because that's primarily, that's the primary um, platform that I sell on. And when I check like the sold um, comps, it 
it doesn't give me a date um so i don't know do you guys know if there's a date on when um items sold so i don't know how long ago some of these you know sold comps have been up and you know with fashion it's uh things are trending you know in and things go out of fashion so pretty quick sometimes so i just never really know so but yeah if you know if, if there's a way to check dates on um, sold comps on poshmark that would be great information to know um yeah so next is this james purse utility jacket and it it's actually a really nice jacket it feels really nice um very soft feels like it's 100 percent cotton and i've had this jacket for a long time um i would almost say um like late late summer early um, fall so that's probably about five months um, six months and let's see it did I listed it for 65 and it sold for 55 and um, I made forty dollars and 78 cents so a really nice sale I'm glad that it sold. I I was a little worried because I have um, a few James Purse items in my closet and they don't seem to be moving. So I'm very happy that this one sold. I think this will fit. Okay. And James Purse is another um, brand that I think uh, retails pretty high. So. Trying to do this March um, is that I'm trying to also list um, every so every day list. And what I was saying was um, list between five to ten items a day and it's it's actually hasn't been as hard as I thought it was going to be um, and I think you know as long as I sort of set my mind to you know doing the listing in the morning at least starting that process it doesn't feel as overwhelming so what happens is I am thinking that I'm going to, you know, the night before I think about, okay, well, what items am I going to photograph? And then, you know, I try to make sure that those items are, you know, processed. Um, and so then in the morning I can go ahead and, and kind of, you know, take the photos of them at least. And then sometimes I'll, you know, I'll pick out maybe seven to ten items to photograph. And then, but then, you know, I, after I list them, I, I might just list five of them so then I'll have, you know, a couple or a few more in the drafts. Um, so I've been doing that. And... You know, this week has actually been a pretty good week, sales week for me. Um, so maybe the <laughs> the daily listing is is something that's a you know it's a really good thing. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep trying. So I was very happy to sell this uh, leather jacket, Nautica leather jacket. It's so soft, just really like like butter this jacket <laughs> um but happy it sold uh it's a 
I'm just seeing if it's uh, lamb's leather, and it's not lamb's leather. Okay, so it did sell for $30, um, and the list price was $60. So when I got the $30 offer, I said yes to it. And also, you know, these heavier items, I, I definitely want to sell. Although I was wondering, you know, if uh, leather jackets are more of a year-round purchase. Um, I feel like that's something that you can throw on, you know, on a cold, you know, spring evening or whatever, even a cold summer night, you know, depending on where you're living. So... Okay, so next is really exciting. I made a bundle sale. Um, the buyer bought three dresses, and so I'm just really, really happy with this sale. Um, they, let's see, I'll show you the, the three. Um, this is a BCBG dress with a, like a sleeveless dress with a really cute ruffle in the front. And I, I really, I really like this dress. I wanted to keep it for myself. Um, I, mean, I was debating, you know, whether or not to do it. It just seems like a really effortless kind of dress that you could um, wear really easily. It has elastic at the, at the waist. Um, and, you know, if you want, you can add a really pretty belt or not. So um, I had this one for, I'm going to actually, maybe I'll wrap them to, together. I had this one probably for about five months or so, um, maybe six. So it's interesting, just thinking back at the sales, uh, quite a few of these sales were on old pieces, um, which is nice, nice to move some of the old stuff. And then this is a new dress that I just listed. Um, and this one is a Saturday Sunday dress. And it has this really pretty um, embroidery on it. So, um, so she bought these two. I think I'm gonna, let me see if I should do two on top of each other. I, I tend to think about how is how is the buyer going to receive their items and you know what's kind of the most fun way to open up the package and maybe the BCG BCBG is nice on top. you the third dress which I'm really happy about too um, <coughs> so the third dress is this a is it Adrian let me see Adriana Papel dress and I think it's just really I think this is so pretty it's like a lace dress with a lining on the inside in this sort of off-white cream color. Um, really nicely made. And I got this dress in, during the summer, um, so, you know, quite a while ago. This is one of my oldest pieces. And I had, you know, when I first started reselling, I hadn't heard of Adriana Papel. I didn't, you know, know about her. Um, and I realized that, you know, I think some of her, like, uh, formal wear does pretty well, but 
you know, at first I, when I saw this piece, I thought, oh my God, this is so lovely. And you know, this must be worth a lot of money, but I don't think her pieces sell for that much. I don't know. At least, you know, that's my experience. And you guys can leave me comments and let me know if you agree or not. But, um, so it took a long time. I mean, there were, you know, it got likes and everything. So it was getting, you know, noticed and which is good because it is such a nice piece. Let's see, how's that look? Looks okay. So let's see where did it is. Yeah, right here. So anyways, um, I don't know how to go through this. The whole bundle sold for $85. And um, if you take all of the three dresses and um, add it up at their list price, um, it would have been $115. So, um, oh, okay, yeah, because what happens is when you put the three, <laughs> you put the three items in the bundle, um, Pasha VA sends out a an offer. Uh, I think it was a 20% offer. And so then I looked at that and I said, hmm, you know, I'm going to make a better offer on top of that. So that's what I did. So then I looked at it and said, I'm going to, hey, I'm going to send, I sent, just sent you another offer, you know, for 85 and, you know, um, you know, thank you so much for shopping my closet or something like that, you know, appreciate it. And so then, you know, thought, oh, well, you know, try, because, you know, I try this Sometimes and I don't hear, you know, it's crickets. I don't hear anything. But she went ahead and accepted the offer. So I felt really, really happy about that, you know. Okay, there. Hopefully this fits in here. Um, let's see. What's next? Oh, so... I think it was at my um, last haul, I shared that I got um, two fanny packs. And so here's one of them. And it's an REI fanny pack. Uh, I think they call it a waste pack. And it's in really great condition. Um, perfect for hiking, camping, you know, being outdoors. Um, So I listed these and I think within the next day it sold. It got a lot of um, people were liking it, um, a lot of attention. So uh, I listed it for $20 and it sold for $12. So um, I finally made $10.95. So not a huge sale, but you know, it's somehow was like when in, you get a lot of um, I don't know, attention on an item, I just feel like it's bringing traffic into your, it could possibly bring in traffic to your store. And potentially, you know, somebody could pick up, you know, this fanny pack and, you know, bundle it with, you know, a band tee or something or, you know, something else. Uh, a bunch of, you know, three items and and you have a really great sale, so. But I don't mind. I don't mind these small sales too. So I think that's why you know at first um, I was thinking that I would try to. So I'm putting it in this giant box, and uh, yeah, it's just it's so big. Kind of crazy. Let me just see something. Oh, I think I'm going to transfer this one into another box, but I'm going to take this off camera <laughs> and think about it. Um, so yeah. Okay, so the last item is this uh, vintage ski jacket, and it's It's really, really cute. Um, 
has sort of this asymmetrical snap here. And, you know, it's nice and puffy um, in really pretty colors. It's in good condition, too. So I picked this up probably about, maybe about three months or so. And I don't know, I just, I just thought it was really cute and thought it'd be perfect for, you know, the winter. And I was getting a little worried because it, you know, no one was, there was some likes, people were liking it, um, but you know, just no offers actually. Um, not even like lowball offers. So I was getting a little worried. But I did get an offer finally. Um, so my list price was kind of high. Um, it was $75. Um, but it did sell for $63. And my, uh, what I finally earned was $47.18. So um, I'm actually, I'm actually really happy that, you know, it finally sold and I don't know, you know, that that's the trick with vintage pieces is sometimes it's a little bit harder to tell the worth because, you know, on one hand, these are kind of like one of a kind pieces that you can't really pick up anymore. And then, um, you know, just wondering, you know, how, how trendy they are. Like, is this something that people are actively looking for? Like, you know, vintage ski, ski jackets, which is one of the reasons why I think I priced it up higher. Cause I, I thought that it would be something that people would be really looking for. But, and then when it didn't sell right away, I was worried like, Oh, maybe I'm, you know, wrong on, you know, guessing the value. But, Anyways, I think this piece is really, really a nice jacket, so I'm happy that it's it's going to a new home. Oh, whoops, now I need to close it up. There. Yeah, I just, you know, I grew up in the the 70s and 80s and this kind of jacket you know that that was my jam <laughs> that's what we liked like you see how this kind of ski jacket you are cool no and maybe that's part partly of you know part of my nostalgia just of of this piece great so um, so how did I do this week this past week I uh, made 23 sales and um, the total um, was seven hundred and twelve dollars and then after fees and uh, my cost of goods I made four hundred eighty four dollars so I had a pretty good week um, you know happy with that um, especially in contrast to last week, which I think I only made um, something like 15 sales. So um, to me, that was a, a big difference. And, you know, could it be because I'm um, listing every day? You know, could it be because I just went back sourcing again? So bringing in, you know, sort of fresh, exciting <laughs> new items? Maybe, who knows? Um, so anyways, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you, you know, being here. And, you know, if you did enjoy this video, um, think about uh, subscribing and hitting the like button. And until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.